Now she has one eye, but she can still spot an affectionate owner for a mile away. Your cat of the week, Layla, is as sweet as a mango, mixed with macadamia nuts, sprinkled with brown sugar, smothered in whipped cream, and topped with chocolate syrup. Who have you brought with us today? This is Layla. Layla is a sweet little one-eyed kitty. Mm. Uh, she's about probably about a year old. And by the time uh, she got to us, she'd already had her eye taken out. In fact, I think we might have gotten her straight from the vet. Don't really know the history, but uh, couldn't have been good. But the good news is now she is all healed <laughs> and she's ready for her home. Uh, Aren't you, baby? I feel so bad. This is actually the second cat we've had who was missing an eye, but they don't act any differently than any other cat. No. In fact, I don't know if you can see her face, but just because, and this is, that's one of the reasons I brought her. We've got a lot of cats that aren't physically perfect, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean they're not the perfect cat for you. Um, she is, like I said, she has the sweetest personality. She's already been spayed. She's up to date on all of her shots, and she doesn't have any problem with her eyes. I mean, if she, if she did, it. I'm sure that they're, no, I don't, to my knowledge, she doesn't have any problem with her eye, but um, come on, sweetheart. It's, it, it's interesting, too, because a lot of the smaller cats, they, the kittens anyway, they like to go on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. A lot of the older cats don't, but she uh, was like a Polly the Parrot here a yeah. couple of times. She is very, very friendly. She's, right now, she's very active, and another, uh, re oh, yes. <laughs> A lot of people come in, like I've told you a lot of times before, and want little kittens. Well, she's proof that you don't have to be a kitten to have a lot of energy and to be lots of fun. Yeah, and I know she wants to explore the whole newsroom because all the flashy <laughs> everythings over here are very curious. So I'm sure she would love to be in more places than just the right. table. Her adoption fee is only $75. Like I said, that includes the cost of her spay and her rabies shot and her um, her kitten shots. So she's ready to go. And she, like I said, she was kind of the kind of cat that will fit into a perfect home. Now, every now and then, she does like to nip. But she's not one that draws blood. It's just a little friendly bite. It's like, I, didn't, I wasn't through with you. So, uh, <laughs> so she wants some more uh, rubbing and some more loving. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody has to ask in their own way. And for her, it just happens to be with a little nip. Yeah, and I think some people who are unfamiliar with cats, a lot of cats, they play and they nip. And uh, don't get scared at the she doesn't draw a blood comment. I mean, most yeah. of them, when they nip, I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's a nip. You don't even see the mark, really. Right. But you can feel it. Um, I think some people mistake that for biting, and they get kind of scared. Yeah, and they think, they're oh, they're aggressive, aggressive kitties. But they're not. That has nothing to do with it. All it is is it means they have a very playful personality. And... Uh, they have, they have to communicate with you in some way, and if you stop playing with them, how else are they going to let you know that they weren't through? So a little, a little nip reminds you to, hey, come back over here and, and let's play a little bit more. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> yep, uh, he, here's the nipping, too. Look at right. that. Oh, here's the licking, too. Uh, and I will tell crazy. you that she's also a gray tabby. We have more gray tabbies and black cats than we do any other cat in our shelter. A lot of folks come in, and they want something that's not so common. Gray tabbies, brown tabbies, and black cats are very common. But <laughs> as you can see, if you can come in with an open mind without any uh, an idea, with any kind of preconceived notion of, oh, I want a certain uh, sex or I want a certain color, then we can find you the perfect cat. Thank you so much for introducing us to Layla. She really had us on our knees. Yes. <laughs> Points if you get that reference. If you'd like to adopt Layla or one of the other kitties for Making Person Paws, you can visit them at 1432 Riverside Drive. And you can contact them to set up an appointment by reaching them on their Facebook page at facebook.com slash They're also open for adoptions from 11 to 2 on Saturday.